Hi guys and girls, Captain for Cape Town. Welcome to another video. Now, okay, everybody knows me by my fitness videos on YouTube. But those of you that expect a fitness video, maybe you should skip this one. This one is going to be about something that I care really deeply about. 55 people and their families are in distress and they really need help. I'm trying to raise some money to help them keep their livelihood. Okay, let me give you the backstory. Now this year, 2020, has brought much sadness to many people. My heart goes out to each and every person suffering because of this COVID-19 thing. And this has been a year from hell. Now this 55 families project is about 55 people who are the breadwinners in their families. All of them work for the same company, a family operated business. The company is called Cape Cuisine. It's located here in Cape Town. I had close contact with this company for many, many, many years. So I really know these people well. And they've been in operation for more than 24 years. And for us, they feel part of the family. Now with COVID-19's arrival, this company, as like all the other companies out there, were forced to close down for months. So huge stock losses because the stock went off, huge outstanding accounts that were starting to run up, non-payment from the clients because they were also suffering. Now this all resulted in large amount of money being owed to suppliers. Now obviously, should this not get settled soon, the business is in really deep trouble and may face closure. Now in South Africa, many businesses received help from the government because of the COVID-19, but only the businesses that were not white owned. If you are white owned or the majority in your business is white owned, then uh, the government didn't help you. By law, they didn't help you because you are white. So that is the problem that these people are facing. No helps whatsoever from the government and they are left to their own devices fighting this battle of survival. And there's somewhere in life, each of us has to get to a point where we start caring more than just me something where we take up a course and fight for other people to help them this is my bit to make a difference i'm fighting for these 55 people and their families i want to ensure that they have a secured income for the future and job now this project the company that we're talking about uh, they service the hospitality industry in Cape Town, here in the Western Cape in South Africa. And that is one of the industries that's been hit the hardest by this COVID-19. On top of that, South Africa had the strictest and hardest and longest lockdown in the whole world. So my plea to you is to help me reach the goal with this project. We can save the household income for these 55 people and their families. We can really make a difference. My heart is broken for them. There were quite a few of them that lost their homes. Some of them had to move into the backyards of people in a three by three meter wooden Wendy house. Now you're moving with your family in a single three by three meter room, no toilet, no shower. That's where you stay in the backyard or some people. This is crazy. They struggle to just get enough money to be able to buy enough food to eat for the month. Now some of the people was temporarily retrained and with this project I really hope to save their jobs as well. And the rest of the people, they are all on short time. So they don't earn nearly their full salary. So please people, make a donation to help these people. Help me to reach the target. The target for the GoFundMe project is 148,000 US dollars. Specifically the amount that this company suffered as a result of COVID-19 due to stock losses, outstanding accounts and bad client debts. But this is the amount of money that this business needs to settle urgently to normalize business and to safeguard and secure the job of these 55 people. 24 years ago, I was one of the co-founders of this company and me and my wife started it from our garage. We moved to where us, where us, where us. We got up 4, 5 a.m. in the mornings, worked till 12 o'clock at night, seven days a week. This is our life's work. Our hearts and love has been poured into this business and we love our workers we consider them family and although i have moved on i'm now doing online fitness coaching my heart and soul is with these people and i can't see them suffering like this but yes just a couple of the people that were brave enough to put something on video some of these 55 families i'm a widow of two children in order for the company to survive to help us the employees here at tech cuisine we would appreciate it very much. Thank you. Any form of donation that can help keep us going will be greatly appreciated. I'm a single parent with four kids and wouldn't know where I'll end up in the near future. 
Any sponsorship, please, will greatly be appreciated. Good day. I've been working for Cape Cuisine for approximately 18 years. I love the work I do and I love the company. Any donation from your, your side will be greatly appreciated. I've got three children. Um, I've been working for Cape Cuisine for 13 years now. With God's grace, we are still here. I thank you and God bless. And I thank each of you for just watching that video at least. And those of you that can contribute to helping these people, please do. If you really can't, then why I ask is go on your knees and pray for this company and these people. May God bless you people. It's a rough ride currently, but for one, I got faith and we're moving forward. Cheers. Gertel van Cape Town, signing off.